the city oilers are headed to Bal season four let's just talk about this so they qualified they lost in the finals game they played against the Cape Town Tigers and that's the only game that they lost and their campaign has just been sensational I know in season three they made Bal, but they didn't they didn't win a game they went 0 for 5 hopefully this year this coming season it can be different because they've had a lot of energy going into their roster going into their campaign and they've had like notable teams that they've taken out they've taken out course pn they took them out in the first game 81 76 they matched up against jbc that game ended 84 71 as you can see and that game against the fv bear was actually quite good because they match they got to the 100 the 100 point mark that's the only 100 point game that they had and they beat CFV Bear to do that and they made quick work of Dynamo 6 61 and they notched their ticket to the finals so regardless of uh, who won uh, again Cape Town Tigers or themselves City Oilers they already locked into Ball because any team that made the finals they already locked into Ball so they're just winning that final like that just just that final title for to ball champions so that game was actually quite good decided by only two points this game was decided like to a clutch game completely and Kipton Tigers just had the upper hand and they won and Kampala like man City Oilers are just good they've, they've just been great sensational I'm just like, loving every single minute of it and Hopefully they can be able to like make some changes and make the changes and right the wrongs that they had in the previous season. At least making the playoffs is a, something that they should look at doing because they've been they've been awesome. They have been quite good. And one thing that I must say is you should never like count out this team because they they just do the unthinkable and even going into their main contributors of like this performance you can see you've got P Petty he had 19 he had an efficiency of 19.3 d miller jr he had a 16 16 efficiency but looking at even the points rebounds assists they're actually quite awesome because cp petty he had a he averaged 19 points per game we've got g roybuck jr he had 14.3 points d miller jr he had 13.3 points led the charge in scoring and just making sure that on that side of the ball they are actually quite good and if you look at even if you even look at even the other statistics like on the rebounds you can see g roybuck jr he was second in points and he led in rebounds to the a boards d miller was just following him with d miller jr is following him with 6.5 rebounds and d miller he led in assists with 5.8 assists so having having those those type of players just lead the charge like that is something that is needed and even looking at the way they matched up the way they matched up against the Cape Town Tigers I just knew for a fact uh, it was just going to be a very eventful game because on even two point field goals they were just almost just tied with the Cape Town Tigers even the when it came to even the shooting the three ball you can see Cape Town Tigers shot better like 38 percent but you can see City Oilers are just following with 30 percent not the greatest but at least they were able to like you know hoist them threes up there and they were not getting beat on the three ball and they just managed to make that game close and offensive rebounds defense rebounds and total rebounds it just ended up being a uh, city oil as a fair because they averaged 39.3 total rebounds in the whole competition and 18.5 assists so you can see in, when it came to playmaking and just dishing out the rock pretty well that was actually quite good but the stat that was actually quite interesting was the blocks because you see Cape Town Tigers they made sure to like you know block them shout they block them shots in the tournament they averaged five blocks in the whole tournament I'll make a video just talking about what the Cape Town Tigers did but even looking at that game that game that just came to a close and just was the finals it was so eventful to watch and I loved every single minute of it and it was just decided and it just went down to the wire and you had those key contributors in there that just did their thing and it just you, you, and I just get the sense that um, if the city oilers you know uh, try to like you know uh, make the changes that they weren't able to make in the in the previous season hopefully they can be able to, be able to at least win at least two games they, they should be, be able to at least win or even try to see if they can notch a playoff spot because 
if able if they're able to notch like a playoff spot it can be it can be quite entertaining to see and these are teams Cape Town Tigers and City Oilers were unbeaten in that run and they they were yet to take a loss and looking at the City Oilers even losing in that matchup in the finals I'd prefer losing like that because at least they were able to like show they they were really really wanted to be there and even regardless of we if 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 either either the either the Keton Tigers or the City Oilers won, both teams were locked in to go to Bal. So it's one, two, and three. So it was it was actually quite phenomenal. And I'll also look at the Keton Tigers, just talking about them, and just you know uh, make a video just saying uh, what they did. But honestly, if you ask me, it was just and and they just had a goal and just had a vision in this Elite 16. And I, I'm just excited to see this because. Having a team from East Africa like that represent you seeing we have like three teams in there. We've got Uganda, we've got Burundi, and we've got Rwanda in there. Rwanda already got like an automatic ticket because of how they seeded the other time. Burundi's Dynamo grabbed the third spot, which I was just watching the third place game, and they they were able to grab it against Cospian and it was it was just great to see that and you can see there are three teams from East Africa that have been able to like notch that title like be able to like represent the Nile conference and it's just something amazing to see that and it's just it's just it's just awesome I, I just love every single minute of it and I'll be sure to you know cover even the other teams because yeah you know they they, they just did they just ball out and just did their thing in there so well done city oilers and they're just they're just waiting to like get into that you know uh ball season four which is highly anticipated i know there are a lot of transactions that transpired hopefully they can be able to like match up easily in there and at that time i'll be able to like even make content just as a prelude just to see if there are any transactions that have happened on that side of their roster because a lot of times before even heading into such a major tournament or league there are a couple of roster changes that happen so i'll be sure to like keep you guys updated on what really happens in there and um yeah i'm out peace please be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the bell so you can be notified yeah